surgery, and they cut me from there to there, basically whoosh, whoosh, up under the ear and all the way down to there. And they took out a bunch of garbage out of there. Uh, one of the garbages was a tumor about the size of a mandarin orange. So let's just say that that's gone. I don't know what they did with that thing. They sent it in for testing or whatever. So it is cancer. And <clears throat> it means we got to do a little bit of radiation treatment coming up here. And I uh, might have to miss a couple trips. I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping I don't have to miss any trips. But but we have everything lined up. So if... Um, I if... have excellent guides who are doing my trips for me. So they're ready to go. They've been catching lots of sturgeon. So yeah, today we're going to head out sturgeon fishing. And... Uh, Looks like camera girl's gonna have to reel in all the sturgeon today, so that's awesome. That'll be good, a good laugh. All right, so anyhow, today we're going sturgeon fishing. We tried to do this a few years ago. Danina was really excited to find out what's a sturgeon fishing all about. Why does everybody want to go sturgeon fishing? So we went out and, uh, well, immediately we hooked up into a fish over nine feet long, and immediately Danina decided that she didn't like sturgeon fishing, and I had to come get the rod immediately, or it was being thrown in the river. Not thrown. Listen. Dropped in the river. That thing. <laughs> if I had hung onto it, it would have pulled me and the rod in. So, at some point, I would have let go of the rod, and I knew that that would not make you happy. So I was busy. I just to... gave you fair warning. Oh, yeah, that was the last time that we sturgeon fished here, I believe. Is it? Yep. I All think right. so. The last time. So. Well, that's the last time I. I would say that was fish. probably seven years ago. Yeah. I'm thinking. That's fair. So we're getting dressed first before we launch the boat? Yeah, so anyhow, yeah, I was gonna to talk to everyone about one important thing they do, especially in the fall when it's really busy out, is you always wanna be ready to go when you go to back your boat down to launch it. So you get dressed, put everything in the boat up in the parking lot, get it all ready, everything's done. So when you back in, unhook the boat, back her out, bang the shore, park your truck, and you're done because there's a lot of issues arise from people that back down, plug the whole boat launch, you're busy, oh, Gav, forgot the sandwiches, all that stuff, forget that. You should never be doing that. It's bad, it's bad karma or bad etiquette, whatever you want to call it. Awesome. Bozo. <laughs> Bozo. What are you doing? What's that? <laughs> what I'm just you? cleaning out the inside of my boat. I haven't had it out since last year, so every year when I come out and I put my boat in the water for the first <laughs> time, I make sure I forget the drain plug. And then I back in the water and it fills up with river water and then it cleans the boat out. And then I sit here painlessly letting it drain with the tiny little bilge pump for like an hour. And then I'll put it back on the trailer, drain the rest, and then I'm good. You got a clean boat for the season. Only need to do that once. Perfect. Uh, right. What a good plan. All part of the big design. I'm glad I could be along for this inaugural Uh, I'll oh, be and if you have your safety thing with you, which all boats should have their little safety kit. This little fella right here comes with your fancy rope. Hey everybody, I forgot to put my bilge pump thing in. <whistles> idiot alert, idiot at the boat launch. Don't come help me, I don't need help, it's an idiot alert. I'll be waiting in the truck for the next hour. Oh look, failing! We got a player. We got one rod in and we got one fish playing. All right, Danina on sturgeon. So we missed a lot of the battle here because we had camera issues. So now we've switched to my new Jesus. small handheld camera with that HD video and we're going to film with that. How's that thing fighting? Here he comes! Here he comes! He's coming up! Do you do you love this? Is this what you wait all your all day for? It's fun, isn't it? Where's my little hands? Is it fun? Get away! Is it fun? Come on! Ah! Oh, 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 be careful! They pull. They they all of a sudden they trick you, and then they're like, "I'm not here anymore." Pull oh, really hard. Well, that was funny. I was just going to reel in. And as soon as I moved that bait, that fish grabbed it. So he must have been sitting there nosing it. Oh my god, look. Yeah, they pull. You got to kind of try to move them. So what you do is you lift up, like, oh. like just lift up, and then you realize it go down towards them. 
Yeah, that's why it's important when this hand Jesus. needs to be strong and hold the rod from sliding around. Oh, your belt's moving around, okay. So I'm gonna... Ah! I'm gonna put the camera down and fix your belt because that's no... Oh yeah, oh yeah. I can't get this thing to go anywhere. So yeah, you gotta reel down and then lift. Lift, lift, and then you reel down towards them. That's how you get the slack to reel in some line. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Ah! It's like tugging, it's fighting. That, that's what they do, the fish, yeah, when they, ah! they fight. Oh, my back, I'm serious, Rod, my back is like. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Okay, I've seen like, I've seen like, like six year old girls fight a fish You're harder an than asshole. you. My I'm, I'm just, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, because this is like a one foot for sturgeon. I don't care. I didn't want to do this at all. This is your doing. I belong in an office. I don't want to do this. So you're gonna let a little teeny sturgeon? Okay, if this was a say, this was the zombie apocalypse, <laughs> and we had to feed our children, you'd be like, would you be sitting here going, I can't do this? Or you'd be like, I am gonna get this thing in and eat it. Like for like ten days, we're gonna be eating sturgeon. We'll be rocking. Christ. So you want me to compare this to a zombie apocalypse? You're a moron. So this is kind of close, isn't it? Yeah, look, 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 it's right there. What do I do now? Okay, we see. So what do we got there? We got the new big buddy, Mr. Heater, double barrel. How's that thing? I'm so happy. Oh, good. <laughs> I can't believe the way they tug though. Like they, like it's like they're on the other end, like trying to pull back, like tug of war. They are. No, but you it's know what I mean. Like, like, it's not like they're on the other end. They are on the other end. Well, worrying. no, but I mean, I expect them to like swim away, try and swim away. So like a constant, steady pull. But they like do little pull, like jerky pulls. Yeah, they try to trick you. They, they ease up so you're like, oh. Oh, he's not fighting now, and then, whoa, and then they go, and then, if you're not smart and careful, that's why we have to take your little Muppet gloves off. Those little Muppet, Muppet. gloves, man, that thing will rip right out of your hand. It's cold out there. It was cold today. I noticed it was so cold that my, my when I talk, my one lip's kind of acting funny. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely from the cold. That's from the cold. Couldn't the be from it, the uh, nerve that they cut out of your face. I wish they wouldn't have cut that nerve. No one asked me if they could cut that nerve. Dining out. Bye bye, bed rods, tight lines.